Hi, Coach George from SoccerTutor.com here. I'm going to demonstrate to you the brand new Tactics Manager version 1.6. Huge improvement from 1.5. As you know, we introduced file and folder management to conveniently organize your files and practices into folders or categories. Uh, we also launched the Mac version and we enabled you to type in any language that you want and it supports it. There were a couple of other things as well we added but those were the main three. So with version 1.6 I believe it's a huge improvement from 1.5 and I'm just going to show you a couple of things. So the first thing, quite simple really, if I had a player onto the pitch as you know you can swivel and round. Quicker and easier than it was before by the way. And notice the when you highlight the player underneath the scale you got the action and moved it from here it used to be next to the player under the menu so we've gone ahead and put it underneath the player so it's quicker and easier to use the other thing that we did is improved the tools so you'll see some of the first few are ones that you already know of so that's the solid line tool that's the dashed arrow tool we've included uh, one without arrows as well I'm going to show you the curved arrow tool this is the one that we've introduced so you can draw a curve and it will automatically convert it into a perfect arc for you the same with the dashed one as well got a dribble tool so it's a, like a wiggly line tool for portraying the dribbling path that's there and we've got one with a solid line as well and you got the the two underneath it are ones without the arrows as well so so for the last three tools I'm going to show you I'm going to pick on an existing practice that's been created for this I'm going to go to the session builder open it this is one that's originated from version 1.5 this one is from version 1.6 so you can see the difference between the two see that curved arrow well what I did I just went to this curved and drew that in there as you can see does it perfectly for you and the other thing is the target area it's a new tool which is the circle so I drew that there it's quite easy to use you just drag it shape it into any size that you want and you can adjust the line here and the fill for the transparency as well like so I'm gonna delete that one and the other one that I did is added this tool here which is a, a text tool so you just drag the text tool onto the pitch and then you select the text and write anything that you want if I put space there you can make that bold italics or underline I'm just going to leave it like that and I'm going to drag that up here so the other one is the square tool that's this one here that I've just highlighted and you can change the uh, the line and the fill transparency as well so if I leave it like that the other thing that you can do is if I highlight it you can change the color of course so if I choose red it changes it to that color so just by these useful tools here there's been massive improvements to designing your practices it just makes it so much easier and quicker to use and and also it look, the end result just looks so much better as well so moving on the other thing that we introduced is a neat import and export feature so now you can quite easily export your existing practices if you want to share them with someone else or if you want to back up your work as well which is highly important so let's just say I choose these two practices here shuffle them to the right hand side and press the export choose the location folder press OK and that's done so the other thing that I can do is import any files that I want as well so I'm just going to go to import select the file let's choose one here okay that's done so I'm going to go ahead and open that there you go import open done so if you've noticed the other thing that we added uh, in 1.6 is the file name is now visible at the top right hand corner so you know what file you're working on at that time so that's just another small change that makes a massive difference the other thing we did is improve the training and match notes again so in training notes you'll notice that there's drop downs for everything now and there's also tick boxes for level or age groups so let's just say this practice is applicable for under 8s all the way up to 18 plus so you tick all the above options 
and then if you go to print you'll notice that it adds it here so it's got under 8 to 18 plus so that's a neat little change and if I go back into it and go to match notes instead of just selecting 11 v 11 of course not everyone plays 11 v 11 so you may play 7 v 7 and you just choose your formation for that system of play so if I go to print and I go to match notes you'll see it here the formation so lastly I just want to show you just uh, we improved some existing bugs we fixed them I'm just going to show you the one important one that we've gone ahead and fixed is the print session so now instead of just print drill one individual you can now print the whole session so let's go ahead and open a save session and now you can go ahead and print all of these in one click so if I press that print session it will print all the five practices under one file so for existing tactics manager users this upgrade is absolutely free so go ahead and download it now if you're not on a, an existing tactics manager user and you have some questions then uh, please feel free to email us or live chat or telephone so again I hope you enjoyed the demonstration till next time all the best